You may have noticed that I am not in the making stuff shop for this video. That's because I've been invited to be one of the first to get my hands on the all new Metal Fab, which is a two-in-one laser welder and cutter that's made by Xtool. The Metal Fab is a 1200 watt laser machine that will weld steel and aluminum as well as copper and brass stainless steel. It's also capable of doing things unheard of with traditional welders, such as underwater welding and rust removal. But that's not all this machine is capable of performing, it also is a cutter. Not only will it make handheld cuts, but it can also be hooked up to a CNC platform. Xtool even has its own CNC platform, which is capable of automatic torch height control and obstacle avoidance. And yes, I plan to fully test this out in this video. And like I said, this is a new machine, and if you want to know more about the availability and current pricing information on the Xtool Metal Fab, check out the link that I have down in the description of the video. Some of you may be asking, I have a MIG welder and a plasma cutter, why do I need a laser welder? Well, the Xtool Metal Fab has a reduced learning curve, making it easier to operate than traditional MIG and TIG welders, and it has a built-in 8-inch touchscreen that also makes it easy to navigate the software, save your favorite settings, etc. Yes, you can get the same results with a TIG or MIG welder. However, where the metal fab shines is in the speed in which it can get the job done, especially if it's going to be used to make repetitive welds and cuts or used in a production environment. And this machine does have a 24-7 duty cycle. That means you can run it as long as you want to, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It does not need to stop and cool down like a traditional welding machine after it's been used for a while. So let's start out by making some simple welds and see just how well the Metal Fab performs. This is the main unit of the Metal Fab. The actual laser sits inside of this box and it sends that power out to the laser gun via fiber optics. Now this machine is kind of similar to a MIG welder. It uses 220 volts with 30 amp current. It will also use all of your standard MIG wire, so you can go to your favorite welding store or Harbor Freight, wherever you like to buy MIG wire, and all of that regular standard MIG wire will work with this machine. It also uses all of the standard welding gases, such as Argon and 7525. All right, we're gonna start out by welding some 1.5 millimeter stainless steel. Let's see how well this will weld. And this is what that weld looks like. You can see it's a nice, clean, straight weld. And one of the things that you're probably gonna notice on this is that this weld doesn't look very thick. If you look at a normal MIG or TIG weld on something like this, it would be a lot thicker. It would probably look like a stack of dimes. One of the things that Xtool claims about the Metal Fab is that it has a low learning curve and that pretty much anyone, even people without welding experience, should be able to use it. So I'm gonna let my cameraman make a weld with it right now. And this is what the weld looks like that Bobby made, and it almost looks identical to the one that I made. Next, we're gonna try some 12 gauge mild steel. This is about an eighth of an inch thick. It's also right at two millimeters thick. Let's see how well it will weld. And this is what the weld looks like on that 12 gauge mild steel. You can see it did a nice smooth weld. And if we look on the bottom, it didn't burn through. Now I'm gonna weld the opposite side and then we're gonna give this one a stomp test. And here is that 12 gauge steel right here. You can see that the metal actually bent. It did not bend at the weld. That weld held nice and strong. You could see nothing blew through. So this is a nice strong weld. 
All right, next I'm going to try some 1 8 inch thick aluminum. Let's see how well this welds. All right, here's what that 1 8 inch thick aluminum looks like with one pass. If we look here on the bottom, you can see nothing blew through. Now I'm going to weld this backside and then we will give this one a stomp test. And here's what the backside of that 1 8 inch thick aluminum looks like. And you can see we've got both sides welded, nothing burned through. So now let's give it a stomp test. And this is what it looks like after I stomped on it. You can see that it's actually the metal that's bending here and not the weld. Everything held, this is nice and strong. And I really, really, really like how well this weld turned out. All right, so I wanna try something else. I've got some long plates of aluminum. This is also 1 8 inch thick, and I'm gonna try and weld this entire seam in one pass. Now, those of you that have worked with aluminum know that if I try to do this with a MIG or a TIG, it would probably overheat this metal and it would start to warp. Let's see how far I can weld on this and see if this metal warps, if it does at all. All right, so this is what that long pass on this 1 8 inch aluminum looks like. It looks really good, just like the other welds that I did. All right, so at the beginning of the video, I said we were gonna put this CNC to the test. We have got some files loaded up in the computer. So let's do some cutting and see how well this cuts. Okay, so we ran three files through the Metal Fab CNC, and this is the results. These may look familiar because I have cut these out on the CNC plasma cutter in my shop. And this is what it looks like cut on my CNC plasma cutter, and you can see it is much bigger. That's because on the CNC plasma, in order to get all of this fine detail, like these cuts here, and the hair, and around here on the hand, I had to make it this big. But look at the detail that this laser gets. This is unheard of to get something this small and that much detail with a CNC plasma cutter. So here is the Walter. Here is a Don't Tread on Me with the snake. You can see all of this fine detail like right here on his tail. Just super detailed. This is just crazy how much detail this laser gets. And then here's a Negan, and I just wanna show you guys, I don't know if this will show up on camera, but all of these pieces are cut, but the tolerance, it's such a fine cut that these pieces here, there we go. I can, it's just, it's almost hard to pull these out, but these should just fall through. This would fall through on the plasma cutter all right, so there, so this should have just fallen out, which it would have done on a CNC plasma or something like that. But this has got such fine detail that those pieces just wanna stay stuck in there. So this is crazy. This is just in insane detail. I've never really seen anything cut with that much detail. 
And I do want to point out that I did make these cutouts small for this video. However, the X-Tool Metal Fab CNC does have a rather large cutting area. On the X-axis, it is 610 millimeters, which is right at 24 inches. And also on the Y-axis, it is 610 millimeters or 24 inches. And if you're using the pass-through on the machine, you're still limited to 24 inches on the Y-axis. However, it's pretty much unlimited on the X-axis. Okay, so you can see I have made it back here to the Making Stuff shop, and that's because everyone that was invited to this event was given a certain amount of time to do filming, and this is all I was able to get done with the time that I was given. Now, there were some features that I wanted to show, such as welding thicker material, and especially the rust remover. Uh, if you're like me, you've probably seen a ton of TikTok videos and Instagram videos where they're cleaning a rusty old piece of metal with a laser, and I really, really wanted to try that out. But unfortunately, they were missing some pieces and adapters, I think uh, some nozzles. I'm not really sure. I just know that we weren't able to try those features out on the Metal Fab. I also want to point out that while I was filming and editing this video, the X-Tool Metal Fab had not been released yet. So if you look down in the description, I have a link to the X-Tool webpage for the Metal Fab. So if you want to know more about the specs, the safety certifications, and the pricing, check that link down in the description. And while we're talking about price, I do want to point out that X-Tool is marketing the Metal Fab as an industrial grade machine at a consumer friendly price that is easy to use and makes metalworking accessible to everyone. So take into consideration that you're getting a laser welder, a laser cutter, a rust removing machine, and a CNC platform all together in one package. And Xtil has informed me that everything shown in today's video, that's the 1200 watt laser and the CNC platform, now this is their top tier level of the metal fab, it's going to come in at around $13,000. Now before you balk at that, remember that the metal fab is in the pre-order phase right now through April 23rd of 2025, and during that pre-order phase, they do have some pretty decent discounts and incentives. For instance, you can save an additional up to 20% just by referring friends who also make purchases. And there is an 800 watt version of the Metal Fab that comes in at a cheaper price. And plus, if you don't need that CNC platform, you can buy the laser by itself and that even lowers the price even more. So the best thing to do right now is just check out that link that I've got down in the description and it's got all of the discount information and pricing information currently going on with the Metal Fab. So who is the X-Tool Metal Fab made for? First of all, I would say if you have a shop where you're making a lot of repetitive cuts or a lot of repetitive welds, or you have employees that you need to train, that the Metal Fab would be excellent for this because of the speed, the duty cycle, and the low learning curve. I could also see this being used in the automotive industry. Let's say you have a muffler shop or a body shop and you're going to be doing a lot of welding on some thin sheet metal. The X-Tool Metal Fab is excellent at welding on that thin metal. I could also see the X-Tool Metal Fab being a good machine if you're restoring an old vehicle. I know I wasn't able to try out that rust remover feature, but if you're restoring an old vehicle, you're going to run into some rust and it would be an excellent way to remove that rust. And also I wasn't able to show welding on the thicker materials. However, the metal fab is capable of welding thicknesses up to five millimeters thick, which is a little bit more than three sixteenths of an inch. And also, if you need to do CNC cutting with this fine of detail in this small size, then the Metal Fab might be for you as well. I get people all the time bringing me small objects that they want to have plasma cut on my CNC plasma cutter, and it just won't do it. You're not going to get results like this with a CNC plasma. You're going to need a CNC laser to get the job done. 
So I hope you like this video on the X-Tool Metal Fab. And remember that link is down in the description. It's gonna have all of the info that you probably wanna know about this machine. So check that out. If you did like the video, please smash that like button and give me that big thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos.